They don't understand how life can make you feel So just let the tears all run down Standing in the back row Looking over the crowd And you see Everybody looks right And everybody talks the same But I don't see myself that way And everybody talks the same, but I don't see myself that way. Last day of the school year. Today is the day we seniors celebrate graduation and move on with our lives. It's also the day the entire campus takes part in the annual 24-hour party starting at 6 a.m. I love it here at college. That's me and my twin brother, Evan. Evan and I are part of a fraternity, and not just any fraternity, Iota Gamma Chi, by far the wildest fraternity on campus. We're celebrating the last day of the year in true academic form, starting off with a traditional 6 a.m. pajama party, then a pig roast in the afternoon. If we aren't passed out yet, we'll go take a couple of final exams. Tonight, we'll activate the pledges and throw one last kick-ass party. Sounds great, huh? Huh. <sighs> brother and I are so fucking depressed. We've been dreading this day for four years. We don't want to graduate. This is officially the worst day of our entire lives. final day of the college year, also known as the last day of college partying. Make the most of it. Honestly, this time next year, you're going to wish you were back in college. Party! Yeah! yeah. 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 The girls are here. No kidding, man. Where the hell have you been? I just woke up. Scoot, you might actually make the first base today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very funny, Kegger. You know, just kick me while I'm down. Today's your day, Scooter. No, I have to get laid. I have never gotten laid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Let's some. get drunk. <laughs> Hey, honestly, this is your last day of college partying for the rest of your lives. Make the most of it. Hello? Yes. Hey, Dad. What? No, no, some of the guys downstairs are just playing some music. Drinking. No, it's only 6 a.m., Dad. 
Yeah, you know, I, I just, I don't know if Evan and I want to go into the banking business. Y yes, sir. No, sir. Okay, we'll see you and Mama early tomorrow then. All right, sir. Some of the kids are drifting now. Son of the Lord, I get them now. Love it and live in a smile. Spin them around just to lift them now. Someone as sick as me had them equipped till the sin was out. Out of the system, loving the system, loving the gift he give us now. Running the distance, never tossed it in. See me grip my towel, wiping the sweat that's dripping down. Christ went like 50 men. <laughs> Hey, Evan, you want some Beerios? I'll take some Beerios. All right. No, no, no Beerios. Come uh, dance with us. Uh, hey, uh, Brandon, you got some beers for us, man? Nope, I got some shots for you, pussies. Yeah, okay, they're coming to dance with us anyway. I'm not dancing. <laughs> oh, we're we're dancing. not dancing. Don't dance. Don't dance. No dancing. Hey, girls, you want to? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ready? One. Two, three! Maybe we could dance a little bit. Yeah, Dancing is my favorite pass. I love it. Hey. This is awkward, but I'm just gonna say it. My friend told me that you think I'm really cute, and I think you're like the hottest guy on campus. I had a crush on you like all year. <laughs> really? Oh my god, I, I, I have been trying to ask you out all year, but I couldn't figure out how. In you know, you're really hot. <laughs> um, I'm not talking to you. I'm on the phone. Man, this is bull... This is bullshit. 6 freaking a.m. I'm running around like a jerk serving drinks. I'm out of here. Hold on, hold on. This is the last day. You're not quitting now. All right, man, all right. Why I'm doing this though? I mean, do you? I don't know. Respect, brotherhood. My dad was getting guys, so if I wanted to pay for my schooling, I have to come along. You really believe all that shit? You really believe all that shit, John? About brotherhood? Yes, I do. These guys are great guys. We just need to get through pledging. You'll see. That's not why I'm here. So why the hell are you here? Are you serious? Pussy, man. Pussy. <laughs> Shoot, this crack is laid more than any other fan on campus. And you know what I'm talking about, dude. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Check out my boy Adam over there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you, sir. Oh, no, it's not cool. It's like a show in my baseball bat. Oh, is that a Louisville slugger? Nope. It's a Hong Kong slugger. It's a much bigger city. Well, you have any condoms? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Hi. I live here. So? Hey, uh, you. You, you want you want to see my room? What for? Well, I I, I want to show you my bowling ball. Oh, how many balls do you have? Just the one. <laughs> That's like seventy. Oh, just talking to the uniballer here. <laughs> Let's go. Anytime you're ready, old man. <laughs> Kegger, my friend, you do not deserve it to be called Kegger. Compared to me, you're just little old Jason who can't drink with the big boys. Oh. Uh -oh. This isn't 1999 anymore. I'm the fastest in the Fred now. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fossil, I need your help. Uh, I'm a little busy right now. When then? Uh, okay, real quick, what can I help you with? Can we please do this? <laughs> Patience, boy! Continue. I, I don't want to say. Well, then you don't get any help. Today! Look, I can't get laid. <laughs> Just forget it. No, no. Do you know what has two thumbs and can help you get laid? This guy. Right, hey, right. swing by my room a little bit later, I'll help you out. Uh, when? 
Whenever, later. 10? Um, sure. Uh, actually, I'm picking up a 90 pound pig at 10. Why don't you come by at 11? 11? All right, thanks. No problem. Can we please do this old dude? Son, I am going to teach you a lesson in respecting your elders. <laughs> elders? More like social security recipients. Oh! <laughs> if you don't mind, milady, if you could count us down. Ready, set, drink! Wasn't enough time. What? Four years. Four years of college, that's all you get. And you think it's gonna last forever, but it's not. Between today and the day we die, we never get to go to college again. I walked around campus all last night. Yeah? Everything seemed different. I know. The building, the quads, none of it seemed right. It's like. They tell you, you know, find a major that interests you for a career. Nothing interests me. I, mean, I don't want a career. You, you know what I want my career to be? Playing soccer for the school team. And making out with chicks. You know, drinking beer. Walking around with my shirt off all day like an idiot. You know, that's what I want my career to be. You know what it is? Suddenly we don't belong here anymore. For four years, they tell us, this is your home. And then one day you wake up and you don't belong here anymore. You know what I feel like? Yeah. I feel like Lucifer. I feel like Michael is chucking me out of paradise. It's the worst day of my life. That was Dad on the phone. They're letting us stay at home for the summer while we learn the banking business. Oh yeah, that sounds horrible. Picking us up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? You know, Dad, he likes to get an early start. I can't do it, bro. I can't and I won't. Huh? I'm not leaving. What are you talking about? I'm not leaving and neither are you. That ain't paying for another year of college. You got 20 grand? Because I don't. The school charges rent, you know? They're not going to put us on a... I'm not getting a job, Evan. We won't get real jobs. We'll coach soccer at the local soccer camp this summer. Oh. Evan, you're my brother, and I love you. I'm not leaving you behind. You're really staying. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. How are we going to pull it off? I have no idea. But I know I can't do it without you, bro. Are we in this together? 50-50. <laughs> okay, man. I mean, I'm with you 100%. I mean, I don't know how we're staying, but we're staying. Maybe we'll leave college one day. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Evan and I had less than 24 hours to secure ourselves a fifth year. We knew we needed some help. And if there was one guy in our fraternity that could help us, it was Greg Karanowski. The guy had been in college for close to a decade. He was a legend. We called him Fossil. So we figured if anyone could help us, it'd be you. You figured right, fellas. I'm an eighth year senior, triple major, quadruple minor, currently majoring in the breeding habits of advanced primates. Basically, I have a quarter million dollars worth of education crammed into this skull. All right, Fossil, we don't need your credentials. Just tell us how we do it. How do we stay? <laughs> how to stay? Gentlemen, the following are sacred rules. Fossil's commandments, if you will. Rule number one. 
no summer classes ever. The campus is dead, nobody's around, and you're even getting closer to graduation. Stupid! Secondly, I want the two of you to enroll in trigonometry. Trig is arguably the hardest course that this college has to offer. Wait, wait, wait. Why do we want to sign up for a hard class? Because even your parents are scared to death of trigonometry. Therefore, they'll be supportive and understanding when you fail. Obviously, rule number two, take trigonometry as many times as possible. I have personally failed trigonometry five times. Now that's 15 credit hours. I personally owe an entire extra semester to trigonometry. Wow. Rule number three, beer is your friend. The more you drink, the more you'll get out of the college experience. However, somewhere around your third senior year, you should check yourself into rehab for alcoholism, but don't worry. Your parents won't be angry. I mean, you're just a poor, young, impressionable soul with a problem. They'll actually think you're growing up because you're seeking help. Besides, at rehab, the food is phenomenal, and the babes, they're fucking sluts. Tell Pam I say hi. All right, dude, this is all great stuff, but we don't have any time. We're being picked up in, what, 20, 19 hours? Do you have any tests left? Yeah, we have our uh, History 404 final at noon. Fail it. What? Fossil rule number four, fail your last test. Your parents have already paid for 99% of your college education. Do you really think they're going to call it quits because you've come three credits shy? Fuck no. Fail your last test, you'll be right back here next year taking that same class again in the fall. Dude, that might work. Of course it will work. Aw, oh, dude, thanks, Fossil. Fossil, you're awesome. Hey, no problem. Now we all right here, guys? Absolutely. Thanks, dude. All right. I do not mean to be rude, but I'm going to have to ask you guys to run along. Scooter's got an 11 o'clock booked. Uh, Scooter, are you out there? Get back here, you pussies. Get you to the tax finish. Get back here. You pledge. Give me those chips! Shove them down your throat! Hey! Kangers get late! Hey, give it to her, Kangar! Oh, is that shit French? Holy shit! Revenge! Oh my god! We're spinning our wheels here, Scooter. It's either you're gonna take my advice or you're not. I can't help you if you're too scared. I can't. Sure you can. You just gotta be smooth on the phone. I can't. Women can smell fear. That's why it's important that you act like you don't care if she's fucking the entire football team because you, my friend, are having sex with the cheerleading squad, the palm squad, their younger sisters, their grandmas at home, everyone in the entire arena screaming for you, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her. I can't do it, Fossil. Scooter. Of course you can. I'm gonna show you this once, but only this one time, okay? Yeah. Now I'm gonna show you, but you have to pay attention. Now, what's this girl's name? <clears throat> Carrie. And what's her number? Uh, 616-555-3836. Wait, wait you, you, you're not gonna call her, are you? You wanna get laid, don't you? No, I, I mean, yeah, I do, I mean, I, I, All I, right, I, I now don't... you wanna go on a date with this girl? Let me set it up. It's ringing. Answering machine. No, hang up, hang up. No, 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 I got this. Hey, Carrie, this is Greg over at the Gamma Chi house. I'm um, just hanging out with my buddy Scooter, and he was just telling me what a beautiful smile he thinks you have. And then on top of that, he went down to the gallery, saw some of your work. Now he can't stop talking about how talented he thinks you are. Well, anyway, we're over here just watching my younger brother and his puppy. And Well, anyway, if you're interested in swinging by with some of your friends, why don't you give me a call? 555-9452. Talk to you then. Bye. You're gonna get laid tonight, Scooter. Pennies are gonna drop. Drop! Dude, we don't have a puppy. Who cares? Women love being lied to. Hey, as long as I get laid. Laid? Oh, you will get laid. I think I know this chick. She's put on the old freshman 15, but let me tell you, total freak. Okay, time is up. Put your pencils down, pass your test to the left and forward. Results of the test will be posted outside my office. I'm gonna go to lunch now. When I get back, I'll put all these through the Scantron, so the results should be up 
in about two hours. Now, for all you juniors out there, have a great summer. Seniors, finally, your wait is over and you can join the workforce. Good luck to you all. Somebody got a D minus. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably came through with a well deserved F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I failed. That's what I'm talking about. Coming back next year, bro. Fifth year, baby. Fifth year. <laughs> 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 I aced a test, and uh, because my good old buddy Brandon here copied off mine, I'm pretty sure he aced it too. <laughs> you aced the test? Yeah, right. Bro, just because I can drink twice as much beer as you and bang twice as many chicks as you does not mean that I'm not a 4.0 history major. Hey, my man Winston here could ace that test in sleep. I think I did. What's that? Uh, um, look, you guys want to know what the correct answers were on the test? Yeah, tell me what was the answer on number seven. Um, seven is, uh, Costa Rica. I got Costa Rica. Me too. And hey, what'd you get for the last one, 1847? Yep, yep. What about the first one? What was your answer on the first one? First one, the fir um, the, uh, Belize, 1472. Oh, shit. Look, who cares about the test, boys? Come on, let's party! Here's the thing, we tried to throw the test. But the answers that we thought were wrong were right. Yeah, we should have studied more. Wait, why would we study for a test we were trying to fail? Because you gotta know what the right answers are in order to pick the wrong Why ones. did you two numbnuts even show up for the exam anyway? Huh. Well, so what do we do now, Fossil? Fossil rule number five, cheat. When all else fails, just cheat. Dude, it's too late to cheat. And when even cheating fails to work, rule number six, steal the test. Now, logically, you'd want to do this before the test, but somehow the two of you have been defying logic. What I need you to do is break into your professor's office, steal the test, and change all of your right answers to the wrong ones. What if we get caught? <laughs> if you get caught? Who the fuck cares? What's the worst that can happen? They kick you out of school? They're kicking you out tomorrow anyway. Um, what the fuck are you guys looking at me for? I don't have the test. Get out of here. You're interrupting my espresso time. I gotta yell about it, the 
lives here like 12 years ago, and I don't know what that has to do with anything. You, you use your keys and use my keys to do what? To pick the lock! I'm pretty sure I don't have the key to his office, and I don't think the wrong key's gonna work. But that's the entire idea behind keys. Use your credit card. Dad cut up our credit cards. Huh. Friday, 11.22 a.m. Hey, Kerry, this is Greg over at the Gamma Kai house. I'm um, just hanging out with my buddy Scooter, and he was just telling me what a beautiful smile he thinks you have. And then on top of that, he went down to the gallery, saw some of your work. Now he can't stop talking about how talented he thinks you are. Well, anyway, we're over here just watching my younger brother and his puppy, and... Well, anyway, if you're interested in swinging by with some of your friends, why don't you give me a call? 555-9452. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. You're gonna get laid tonight, Scooter. Pennies are gonna drop. Drop! Dude, we don't have a puppy. Who cares? Women love being lied to. Hey, as long as I get laid. Laid? Oh, you will get laid. I think I know this chick. She's put on the old freshman 15, but let me tell you, total freak. Scooter. Hey, Carrie. Hey, did you get my message? Yeah, you know, I sure did. I'm really glad you could make it. We got some beer over here. Oh, go! <laughs> Adam, those are holier than thou's. Dude, some of them are hot. Um. Is that alcohol everyone is drinking? Yeah, do you want one or not? I thought you said this was a barbecue. It is a barbecue. Do you want one? We don't drink. Why not? We're Christians. Don't fuck your assholes. I... But that is the rudest! You know, Jesus turned water into wine, not mango juice. I'll have a beer. Jane! What? He's right. You know, Christian girls are best on their knees. You know, we should get that put on a t-shirt. Shut up, Jane! Think about going to the new gym in town. They have a lot more free weights there. They'll meet in for free also. It's good for them to have a big guy like me there. I'm putting up like 310, 325. Uh, I need another beer. It was nice talking to you, though. Wait a minute. Hold on. Pledges! Pledges! Can't you see this woman needs a beer? I'm fine, really. Get her a beer now! You two, give me 20 push-ups. Why? Because I said so, that's why. Make it 50. Jerk. Great. Make it 100. Just go till I say stop. I'm not getting laid now because of you two little cock blocks. Wait till you meet the general. The general's coming tonight. You! Pour that beard on your dress. Oh. <sighs> Carrie was just over at the barbecue. She came right up to me and kicked me in the balls. Your plan sucked. <laughs> Dude, calm down. This is great news. How is that possibly great news? Scooter, it is a primal instinct for a female to kick the male in the genitalia when ready to mate. This is basically a sign that a female has chosen her male to reproduce with. Fossil, that is the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. Remember, I'm an A student in my major. Breeding habits of advanced primates. I'm, I'm like the Dalai fucking Lama of this shit. You're an A student? Well, I'm A student. Yeah, alright, fine. Let's move on. Look, you screwed things up. It's alright. I screwed up? What did I do? I, I did what you told me to do. I... Scooter, have you ever seen a woman naked? Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course I have. Who, when, where? I, you know, on the, uh, the TV, magazines, the internet, you know, lots of times, dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna need a little bit more help than I thought. I'm gonna have to really reach into the bag of tricks for this one. Do you have anyone else in mind? I don't know. I mean, I, I want to get laid, but I, I really like Carrie. You've already screwed things up with Carrie. You have anybody else in mind? 
as well. I don't know if I want anyone else, Fossil. I mean, I really like her. Oh, that's cute. Now man up, grab your sack, and let's figure out how to get your dipstick into some oil. All right, we'll need some tight shirts, expensive shoes, tight pair of jeans, maybe a little man what perfume. What am I gonna need that stuff for? Because you're gonna pretend to be gay. What? No, Fossil, no. Scooter, I pretended to be gay my entire third senior year. I got laid more than carpet. You meet a girl, become best friends, go shopping, maybe get a facial, then you give them the line. I could never imagine myself with a woman. Next thing you know, they're on top of you. Congratulations, bro, for the second time. Damn. Who would have thought failing a test would be so much work? Hey, Jeff. Jeff. What happened to your skirt, man? Sir, Pledge Master Kegger instructed me to pour beer down my pants, sir. Uh, it's enough with the sir business. You just call me Jake. Right. Man, that Kegger guy's a complete asshole. Yeah, he can be, but uh, he didn't hear that from us. <laughs> Jeff, go on up to my room, grab yourself a clean pair of pants. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jake, thanks. Are we really gonna have to drown a kitten tonight? Come here. Do you really think that my brother and I would be in this frat if we did? Look, it's gonna be tough tonight. You're gonna get through it, it's gonna be totally worth it. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, can I get you guys a beer? Hey, sure, I'll take another brew. Yeah, me too. Take your time. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I like your style. Sexy. Um, look, look, it's it's not what it looks like, all right? It's all right, honey. I had trouble coming out of the closet for years. I'm not in the closet. I I, I don't even own a closet. You know, I have, I have one of those poles on my wall to hang my clothes on. <laughs> look, I, this this is just a plan, okay? I'm, I'm not gay. I'm trying to get laid. Will you please just, just let me go? <laughs> hey. Take it easy, we just met. Let's take things a little slower, and there'll be plenty of time for loving. <laughs> Winston was a history he major. He is a history major. Yeah, then why didn't he know any of the right answers to the test? You're a history major. Why didn't you know any of the wrong ones? Oh, shut up, Evan. Dude, you wanted to take history in the first place. Yeah, to take it, not to pass it. Fuck. You know, we had all the answers wrong. We failed. But we had to go back and change all the answers because of you. You wanted to change them to Jake. Yeah, but I wouldn't have wanted to if you hadn't talked to Winston in the first Dude, place. Dude, we both talked to Winston. Winston came up to both no, no, of no, us no. and said hi. You went up to Winston and said, hey, what'd you get on the test? Yeah. Fuck. You know, I'm sorry. We're like 13, 14 hours away from becoming financial bankers. <sighs> Let's go see Fossil. So let me see if I'm getting this here. You originally had all the answers wrong, but for some reason thought you had the answers right. So you broke into your professor's office, stole the test, changed all of your answers to what you thought were the wrong answers, but actually changed them to the right answers, and then passed the test. Am I getting this? Yeah, that about covers it. How in the fuck is that possible? I have no idea. Well, what did you get? A minus. Straight A. Uh, so what do we do now? All right, I didn't want to have to go in this direction, but you guys got to get some scholarships. <sighs> Dude, I barely pulled a C average. Dude, I got a 2.3, and for the last four years, I've done absolutely no community service. I've never helped in any group or organization in any fucking way. <laughs> do I look like an A student to you? I don't even know where the fuck I slept last night, but I do know I've got tons of scholarships rolling in each and every semester. How's that? Rule number seven, hit on high school chicks. Get one to ask you to prom. Dude, we're 22 years old. We're not going to prom. Ever heard the expression, off like a prom dress? I believe it speaks for itself. Well, anyway, if you go to prom in a tuxedo and your date wears a dress made of duct tape, you can basically win up to $2,500 in scholarship money for college. 
I'm the three-year reigning scholarship winner. I don't believe this guy, dude. No way. This is a load of crap. No, seriously, it's a real scholarship. Now, I've already been invited to prom this year, but just so you guys know, I did invite a couple high school chicks today. Actually, even a few hot ones up at the barbecue right now. No shit. No shit, I'm the shit. Rule number eight, you don't have to be sober to cook. I am an excellent cook. You can't cook. Ever heard of Fossil's famous cherry pie? No, he does make a mean cherry pie. I'll give him that. The man makes a hell of a cherry pie. You're damn right I do. You're looking at the 2005-2006 Mr. Cherry Pie Scholarship Award winner. That's a cool grant each year for college. You can't cook. That's not even a real scholarship. <laughs> you bet your ass it is. Basically, I just bake a little weed into the pie. Judges will vote for anything if they're high. Fossil rule number nine. It's not a lie if you believe it. Basically, just tell a lie so many times that even you forget if it's the truth or not. For example, I'm getting scholarships for cancer, leukemia, tuberculosis. <coughs> I even think I'm getting one for being a single parent. But it's up to you guys to figure out what your story is going to be, what the lie is going to be. So, if you guys don't mind, go get some scholarships. It's time for me to take my meds. Did I mention I have glaucoma? You told me I'm a real rat bastard. I'm telling you, I can't deny it's true. But step inside this real rat bastard. You be me and I'll be So, what high school do you go to? Oh, I go to East, and my best friend Joyce, she goes to East, but now she goes to CC, and she promised we'd be like best friends forever, but I'm not sure anymore, because there's a girl named Paula, and Paula's like a total bitch, and I really want to go to the mall one day, and she won't let me so, go, So, so, your high school, does that have a prom? Oh, yeah. Wait. Whoa. Are you asking me to go to prom? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Joyce is gonna be so jealous I'm going to prom with a college guy. I have to tell her right now. Oh my god, oh my god, so, oh my god. So, I was thinking about what we could wear. Yeah, so I got like this pink dress with a white trim on it, and it's gonna cost about $300 your money, because it's from an expensive store that I really like, but I haven't been there in like years, and I really want to Actually, I was thinking we could both go in duct tape. But duct tape doesn't come in pink. Besides, I have this black tux for you with a pink cummerbund. We're gonna like totally match, and your twin should really go with my best friend. So we go to the expensive restaurant because I really want to eat twin lady and not look fat in my dress. And we want to get there really late, so I look like the shit when I go to the ball. Do you have any idea what just happened to me? Did you get laid? No, my God, no, I didn't get laid. Did you at least get close? Yeah, we we got to first base, we rounded second, and thank God we didn't get to third. Hey, second base, that's not bad. No, it was it was with a man, you idiot. Yeah, that is a possible unfortunate side effect to that plan. Did, did that ever happen to you? Nope, never. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll see ya. Oh, and don't call Carrie either, all right? I don't want any more of your help. You got it? All right, sure. No, I was kicked in the balls. I was, I was, the girl that I like hates me, and I was taken advantage of by a man. That's where your idiot help has gotten me. I'll stay out of it. Fine. Have a nice day. Hey, Carrie, this is Greg from the Gamma Chi House again. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 
32, the alumni are coming tonight. The general's coming. He's not taking any prisoners. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, not bad, boys. Not bad. You. Good effort with you, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you two man. should learn from this guy. Yes. You want a beer, man? Yes, thank you. Oh. That looks like it. Does that taste good? Does yeah. it taste good? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good little bitch. You know that? Good. Don't just stand there. Get a mop. Have some pride in your fraternity house. We got to go see Fossil. Fossil. If you ever notice that none of Fossil's plans ever work or even come close to working. I don't know what to do, Jake. Yeah, well, neither I'm do desperate. I. This is Jake. This is him. This is our uh, last day of college here. Damn, what the hell are you doing? Oh, sorry. This is Ushmad and Ashat. They're uh, foreign exchange students from India. It is okay if we are to say hello to you. Oh, we are working on fraternity story. Ushman and Ashat are journalism majors, and they're working on a fraternity story about life here next year, and, and I figured I'd give them a head start and show them around a bit. Is that all right? Today is your last day of college, yes? Looks that way. Oh, you are very, very fortunate. My brother and I must spend three years prior to receiving diplomas. You can have mine. Hey, I'm sorry? So you guys stay here during the summers, too? Yes, it is very much a homesick time. We will not return to home for three whole years. And your parents, they don't ever visit? No, it is too far away. And they are very, very busy. So, uh... These checks, you get tuition and living expenses? Oh, oh yes. He sends full tuition plus $300 each a month for spending money. Tuition? Spending money. So, uh... Do these checks, uh... They cover room and board also? Oh, very much so. Included in full tuition. Well, we must return to dormitory now. It was a pleasure meeting you. Oh, thanks, guys. We'll see you tonight at pleasure. <laughs> Come on. Bro, here's the plan. I, I enjoyed do, my meetings with them both of them. You are going to do a good job. They, they were, were nice. very good. Very <laughs> nice. For Americans, they oh, have yes. such misconception. Our country is not the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. No, no, no. Good job. I'm really sorry about everything. Um, yeah, I, I'm normally not that kind of guy. Well, you seem all right now that we've gotten to talk for a while. And I'm so sorry I beat you up. That fossil, though, talk about A1 asshole, huh? Fossil? Oh, fossil's. I mean, he's a little strange, but you know, overall a good guy. Now, he, he was there when I needed help, and. You're gonna wanna hear this. Hey, Carrie, this is Greg over at the Gamma Chi House again. Just calling to invite you to our Pursuit of Worldly Knowledge with Handcuffs party tonight. Anyway, I don't blame you for kicking Scooter in the nuts this afternoon. The guy's a little wuss. I wouldn't like him if I were a girl either. 
Forget about that loser. Come over tonight. Handcuff yourself to me and we'll have a great time, all right? See you tonight. You Bye. son of a bitch. Do you want to get back at him? I think I have an idea. Find the student ideas, bring them back to Fossil Creek, put our pictures right on it. They have Indian porn. Get out of here, old schmog. Indian porn. Indian porn. What the hell is this? Dude, I found the checks, I found the check. What is this? Dear Ushman, in a shot, you. Fuck! What? The grandma died. So? So? They have to go home for a year. We can't use them to go to college. Why'd she have to die? No! No! Every single rule Fossil had entrusted in us turned out to be a complete goddamn disaster. Somehow we always ended up worse than when we started. It's all over. It's 5 o'clock and our parents are coming in 13 hours and we have absolutely no options left. Today really was going to be our last day of college. Well, might as well smoke a bowl and get laid. Dad! You look messy. How am I too soon to be graduates, boy? Uh, <laughs> Baby boy. Great to see you, son. Great to see you, sir. Son, are you okay? Oh, he's fine, sir. Mom, how are you? Good, Jake. Oh. So good to see you. To Let's see go you. inside so I can start packing your clothes. Well, I thought that you and Dad would be here at 6 a.m., like we talked about on the phone, right, Dad? I thought we'd allow your mother to get a head start on packing your clothes and moving stuff out of the room. Wow, what a great surprise. We can't. Well, why not? Because... Uh, because we have a meeting across campus in 20 minutes. With a, with a history professor. Really? Which professor? Uh, history of Professor uh, uh, Hughes. Professor Hughes? H-U-G-H-E-S? Yeah, that's right. Do you know him? Sounds familiar. But I've never met a Professor Hughes before. You weren't going to see the professor looking like that, were no, you? No, no. I thought that we had left our nice clothes out here on the porch. Well, looks like we didn't. We're just gonna go inside and throw something on. I got a great idea. Why don't you and Mom come over to the history office in 20 minutes? You can sit on, sit in on the meeting with us. Dude, we don't have a meeting. <laughs> oh, stop! Ow! <laughs> We're just gonna throw on some clothes. We'll be back in 20 minutes, sir. Son, we'll just come inside with you and wait until you change, and then all of us will go over there together. Well, Dad, I, I thought that Mom might want to see the flower grow. They are in full blossom this time of year. Absolutely beautiful. Our college ranked number one best flowers in the country. It's going to be dark in 20 minutes. Wouldn't you like to see him, Mom? Oh, Jay. It's so nice of you to think of me. All right, then. We'll see you in the front entrance of the History House in 20 minutes. Sharp. Yes, sir. Fossil, I'm in way too deep. I told my parents that we have a meeting with Professor Hughes over at the history office. It's all a lie. How could they have showed up early? Life as a college student is finished. Done. Over. Is Evan Stone? You know, I always knew I had to deal with this moment, but I feel like I'm at a funeral, only it's my funeral. It's okay, Jake. It's all right. It's what are you okay. consoling me for? Your life is over too, you moron. It seems your parents have shown up a little bit earlier than expected. What? My parents are here? Yeah, snap out of it! I had to cover for you because mom and dad wanted to come into the house. It smells like a goddamn reggae You party screwed up, dude! Oh, screwed what did up. you do? What did I do? The only thing I did is save your ass! Save my yeah, ass? save your no, ass! Oh man, it sounds like you made things uh, unnecessarily oh, worse! You know what? You don't even know what lie I told mom and dad that you were standing right there, you fucking moron! Enough! The two of you are going home from college and never coming back again, ever. Now, Jake, what did you tell your parents? I told them we have a meeting with Professor Hughes at the history office. Did you tell your parents what the meeting was about? No. I... All right. Now, what were your plans once you did get to the history house? I don't, I don't have any plans. I figured I'd just go over there and tell them that, uh, that the meeting got canceled or something. All right. Uh, well, do either of your parents know Professor Hughes or know what he no, looks like? No, there isn't any Professor Hughes. I made the name up. Put the goddamn fishbowl down. Okay. And are there any pictures of Professor Hughes anywhere on the first floor of the History House? Or no. Anywhere there, are, the are you listening here? There's no Professor Hughes. There is now. Rule number 10. When all else fails, impersonate a professor. Forcibly, if needed. Gentlemen, 
I am Professor Humes. No, it's Hughes. H U H U. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, Jake, Evan, I need you two to head over to the History House, meet up with your parents, hold them off just for a little bit. I'm gonna throw on a suit. I'm gonna go over there as quick as I can. I'm gonna help you out of this, but you've got to follow my lead. Get the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> What are you doing? You're getting what you asked for. You wanted to hang out with me tonight? Now you got me. Yeah, yeah, tonight, later. Um, can you can you please unlock me? I don't have the key. It's my dorm room where we should end up tonight. Oh, f fuck. <laughs> All right, just, uh, just come with me. Well, but where are we going? You must be Mr. Tanner. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I am obviously Professor Hughes. What the hell is going on here? Oh, um, how rude of me. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Tanner, this is Carrie. Yeah. Carrie, this is Mr. and Mrs. Tanner. <laughs> nice to meet you, dear. I you're, love the shirt. <laughs> you're probably wondering why Carrie and I are handcuffed together. Well, um, it, we are handcuffed. This, this is for charity. Charity? <laughs> He's lying. I'm a whore. <laughs> well, um, theater students, great imaginations. Um, what, what Carrie is trying to get at is the school has decided to handcuff a professor with a student to raise money for cancer. Oh, that's nice. Who in the world thought of the idea to handcuff a female student with a male teacher? Oh, we believe in outside of the box thinking here. Well, uh, as you already know, both Jake and Evan are special students. They're actually two of the tops in my class. <laughs> Must be a pathetic class. <laughs> Pathetically challenging, historical wise, and well, today I would like to offer both Jake and Evan my coveted teaching assistant positions. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it, guys. You earned it. I'm actually pretty excited you've decided to accept the positions. Oh, and, does uh, anybody else need a drink? <laughs> now is not the time to drink. Just take a drink, Greg. I don't want a drink. If you don't take a drink, I'll scream. And scream, and scream, and... Fine. <laughs> Here. I don't want any. <laughs> I'm not so sure this is the best thing for Jake and Evan to do. They were planning on working at a bank. Trust me, Mom, Dad, there's nothing Jake and I want more than to be here next year. Well, I suppose as long as it's what you want to do, I guess it sounds like a good opportunity. What are you going to do for money? Where are you going to stay? When do you start? Mr. Tanner, your sons will begin preparing my next year's curriculum as soon as this Monday. They'll be here all summer, all throughout next year, and as far as some of your other concerns, they... As far as some of the other concerns, they can live on on-campus housing for free. Otherwise, they can all. They, there is going to be a small fee of fifteen hundred per student, just basically to lock in the positions for next year. That will need to be taken care of today. All right then. Uh, who do I make the check out to? Ah, uh, that's Greg Karanowski. K A R A N. I thought your last name was Hughes. Hughes is just a nickname. Oh. I'm so proud of you boys. Thank you, Bob. Thanks a lot, sir. Well, it looks like you both have busy schedules ahead of you. I guess Mom and I will head back to the hotel and leave tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Professor Hughes. And if you don't mind, actually, Carrie and I also need to leave. We're going to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's for charity. <laughs> I'll tell you, these professors, they could never survive in the real world. Yes, dude, I can't believe that shit awesome. worked, bro. You did it, man. Hey, no problem, boys. Do you guys mind? Oh, yeah, 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 we're leaving. Hey, can we just grab that three grand first? Uh, I'm sorry, what? That $3,000 you got from our dad to pay for our room and board next year. <laughs> for you? That's my three G's, boys. Cha-ching! I'm coming back for your nine, bitches! Wait a second. <laughs> You're stealing money from our dad? 
you know, now's not really a good time to talk about this. You know, I'm about to bring out the old fossil bone, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Take another drink first. All right. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out, boys. It's 10 p.m., time for Hell Night. Tonight, we welcome back all of our past pledge masters. They'll help us activate our pledges and bring them into the Brotherhood of Iota Gamma Chi. I think the old farts really enjoy taking a break from their lives to spend one more weekend in the fraternity. I, 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 Iota Gamma Chi! I, 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 Iota Gamma Chi! I, 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 Iota... That's horrible! Pathetic! Let me show you guys why you're pledging! 1965, the year of my father! Pledges fraternity. Pledges! How many pledges are there? Seven, sir! Pledges! How many actives are there? Forty-five, sir! Alumni! How many pledges are there? Seven! Alumni! How many actives are there? Forty-five! Do you hear that? I can actually hear them! You punk little girls need to pick it up! You got that? Now, boys, you have a pleasure of meeting one of the founding fathers of this fraternity. Sir, do you have anything to say, sir? I fucked every one of the Golden Girls. Are you guys ready for Hell Night? Sir, yes, sir! What? Sir, sir yes, yes, sir! That's more like it. Ugh, you guys are gonna pay. The general is here. <laughs> That's the general. Smart guy here. Start with him. Pledge your butt cracks so they bleed. Do you understand me? Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! Do you understand me? Sir, sir yes, yes, sir! Pledges, how many pledges are there? Seven! Pledges, how many actors are there? Forty-five! Alumni, how many pledges are there? Seven! Alumni, how many actors are there? Fifty! Fifty. No date this evening. Therefore, you are the drink wench. No problem. Yeah. Damn, I'm done. It's over. I'm a Kamakai now. So what's up, ladies? The try our brand new Kamakai. Oh, 
Double shot fossil and there's one for you here. Fossil, you old son of a bitch, drink with me. Have a seat. Alright, alright, alright. I would have got my guy. Hey, it's my job. Yep. It doesn't matter me, because you come here, man. You were the biggest dick. You made it! You're my favorite pledge! I'm gonna be Pledge Master one day. I wanna be just like you, yeah. man! Make me proud! You're a fucking hero! Make me proud! Hey, everybody, the Drink Wench is back. Head to head, shot for shot. I'm taking you on all night, Grandpa. Kegger, this is not a hot dog eating contest. This is alcohol. You went down this morning, you're going down again tonight. Alright, alright, alright. I don't want Cause I'm on the attack Haters at that trying to break my back Please step back Let me count my stats Because I'm riding on twins I'm a Cadillac As a matter of fact I'm breaking them down Stand the ground I don't be messing around Best bleed player I'm keeping the crunk To keep talking that junk While I bring the funk Listen up close As I make you bounce Listen up close As I pronounce I verbalize Be surprised Funky ass be to keep you hypnotized Gotta keep it coming Gotta move the crowd Gotta stand up Stand tall and proud I gotta win a street Like Bobby Bowd Gotta make the crowd just sound loud, uh Don't know what you came so to do you wanna dance? Know about what? You. I'm I said I want to be in your band Oh, yeah, right. okay It's time to ride Don't know what you came to do Don't know about you, I'm an act of fool Keep it loud till the day I die Get your head right, it's time to ride I gotta keep my nose to the grind Gotta keep moving, can't fall behind Crooks out there trying to rob me blind Can't stop mine cause it's my time Time to shine, I'm making it hot Jay Stizzle rocking the joint down stop Wait till this crazy ass album drops Don't worry about me, I'ma stay on top Believe that cause I'm versatile Flipping it out so check out my style Nothing like this from miles and miles We're in this really deep bro I oh, know Do you miss this much? What's that? This place, college, the fraternity. No. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a great time when I was here. But I'm pretty happy with my life. What about the girls? Oh yeah, sure, I mean, sleeping with a different co-ed every weekend, it's got its appeal. I have a beautiful wife, a couple of great kids. So overall, nah, I don't miss it. You guys are graduating tomorrow, right? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, we're supposed to, but I think we figured out a way to stay. Stay and, and do what? Stay. Live in the frat and party. Put you into retirement, Grandpa. You want to quit, just ask for mercy. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, Craig. You can do it. Craig. <laughs> you know, Greg, Fossil, whatever you call him, you think he's the king of campus? I bet if you ask most of the students here, they think he's a joke. <laughs> he's a joke to the alumni. You know I pledged with him? Oh, he's cool to your face. But you turn around and he'll stab you in the back. You're right. He screwed over Scooter today. He took $3,000 from our dad. I really feel sorry for the guy. He's stuck. He has no idea which direction to take his life. And every year that goes by, he just becomes more and more pathetic, and he knows it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Kegger, you were just drinking water with me, right? No. Oh, 100 proof vodka, baby, all night. Had to beat him fair and square. You guys want to know what the secret to life is? What's that? Make a career out of something you love. Something you have passion for, man. So what do you do? Me? I love sports. I majored in sports management when I was here. And I was off to Major League Soccer. Six months ago, I bought an interest in the Chicago Fire soccer team. You serious? The Fire's our favorite team. 
Emma and I play soccer. We've been team captains for the last three years, all conference. Well, I tell you what, if you guys are interested, why don't you guys come by the stadium, work out with the team. Give me a call tomorrow. I'll put you in touch with some coaches. Dude, we'll definitely call you. Hey, man, I'm still a Gamma, and I'll do anything to help out a brother. Yeah, I gotta get back to the wife. You guys take it easy. Thanks for letting me stop by. Anytime. God. Here, Here. I got the key. Turns out you're not that smart at history. Actually, man, I'm plenty smart. I failed that test on purpose, and so did Brandon here, man. What the hell are you talking about? We don't want to graduate. Everyone knows that if you fail your last final, your parents will pay to send you back for another semester. Bro, my parents paid for four full years of tuition. Do you really think they're going to let me come three credits away from graduating and call it quits? <laughs> not a chance, man. Dude, I can't believe these two fuckers didn't know that. <laughs> Bro, we're coming back for another year. Fifth year, baby. Fifth, Fifth year. year. It's a boy's head. Schmucks. <laughs> Hello. Who the hell is this in the middle of the black night? Yes, sir, it's me. Evan's here, too. Harold, who is it? Nobody. Go back to sleep. Jake, I've been thinking. I'm going to look into that crackpot professor's credentials first thing in the morning. Actually, Dad, don't even worry about it. Um, Evan and I don't want to be teacher assistants anymore anyway. Good. Then get out the damn telephone. Let me go back to bed. Harold, language. Sir, we have a tryout with a major league soccer team next week. Soccer? Now listen, that's enough games at 3 in the morning. I'm picking you and your idiot brother up at 6 a.m., and that's the end of it. No, sir. We're going our own way, and that's the end of it. So make sure you cancel that check. You're going your own way? Yes, sir. You know, this is the first time you ever stood up to me. Finally grew up a little bit, huh? Well, I guess the banking business isn't going anywhere. You give your mother a call tomorrow afternoon. We will. And Jake. Sir? You give me a call after those soccer tryouts. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. You and Evan both. He actually took it all right. Hey, what time is it? It's about 3 a.m. Think there's any checks left downstairs? A couple drunk ones. <laughs> it works for me. Me too. game while we're still in college. Alright. So that's it. That's our story. I'd like to tell you that we went on, played Major League Soccer in Chicago. Maybe we'll make the team, maybe we won't. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I'll tell you this much. Whatever happens, we will never end up like Fossil, with a dick in our mouths.
good, good. Ah! Hey, by the way, your grandpa's dead. Where the f is Jake and Evan? I, I think they're sleeping. Sleeping? <laughs> nope, I got some shots for you, pussies. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a retirement home. I fuck all the women there. Now yeah, there's one's real animal lover. I always do her doggy style. Bark you bitch. There's another one. She's so wrinkled. She's like having sex with a prune. Me, kids. <laughs> I need my smoking coat. <laughs> The other one's kind of tall and manly. It's kind of hard to have sex with because her dick always gets in the way. If there ever was a time I could take down the swordsman on top of the castle, it would be now. I am the midget of the world! <laughs> There's no chance you would defeat my gold Take now. my bouncy ball! <laughs> I eluded your balls of bounce. So bad, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> take things a little slower, <laughs> and there'll be plenty of time for loving. <laughs> I'm not actually <laughs> <in his ear. laughs> This guy's gonna be pissed we played with his dolls.